What is up, Legends? We are back, and we got a nice, good announcement. Uh, Bluestacks is sponsoring this video, by the way, and also Bluestacks has Android 11, and that's what we're going to be talking about today. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you some features, uh, show you how I use Android 11, and show you, you know, kind of like gameplay. I already have two games running right now, um, which one is Dislight, and the other one is One Piece right now so um, you see basically we're in one piece right now you know smooth um you know two different games at the same time right now chilling and we can't actually do like three or four but i'm recording and i don't want it to drop out of 60 fps so we'll, it will do that oh uh, no that's that's doing too much at that point but <clears throat> the reason why you're looking at one piece right now is there's a lot of translation that you can actually do with um, Bluestacks and then Android 11. Now I can actually physically say right now that the, get, the game runs even better with Android 11. Uh, right now, this is the only emulator that has Android 11 right now. And you see that we're using uh, 5.10, I believe it's in the screen, 5.10.10.1013 uh, and then Android 11, of course. And um, the cool thing about games like this, and I always say this because I play a lot of um, CN games, a lot of JP games and stuff like this, even TW and even Spanish and German, other games like that, Russian, is that this game has a built-in translator. So if you hit Control Shift and L, what it's going to do is it'll translate the screen and let you know what each individual thing is. Now, of course, if you have a game where there's a lot of stuff on the screen, it's going to become harder for the translator to actually do it properly so like if you go into like character stuff then um it becomes a little bit easier for you to, to actually you know do that so say if i want to um, go into here and start handling this then we can if i need to actually translate stuff you know obviously her, her name ain't paul but you know it does its best actually with what um, the stuff is so you see like if you like you know skill unlocks you know skills you know develop which is level of cards which is the card system awakening badge and all that type of stuff and this is really good for people like me who play games and try to translate stuff like this uh, for the most part um with seeing games i can always always read it anyway for the most part sometimes but um there's times where it just goes out and you, you need to do other things so let's go into somewhere where we can actually show a little bit of gameplay we'll, we'll do it with do it with you i guess because we just got her recently so let's go through some dailies real quick see which daily that i want to go through that could show i guess we can do this one Bring it in, bam. Great, I am I'm still doing this while I have dislike in the background too. And I'm I'm showing dislike for a reason because dislike runs better. Alright. Gotcha. Smack. Now Robin is cool. This is the newer version of Robin. This is time skip Robin because she gets more control of her ads. Oh, he just got pimp smack. This is over. It is over. There's also a new version of Boa too, as you guys saw. But I just wanted to go in and show a little bit the comment in general and use a uh, Chinese game because um, I think that's one of the areas that Blue, Blue Stacks actually shines when it comes to emulators is that um, how well that they can play the foreign games without much issue. And it's not even set for that, but it just does. It just does it better than, you know, like the competition. Um, the same thing goes over for going in and messing around. Uh, no, we don't do that. It's going to take a while at this time of the morning. It's, it's like seven o'clock. You can tell I don't PVP. <laughs> and again, doing this all at the same time, which is um, for me, 
you guys know that I'm, I'm a multitasker, so I just need stuff to work and get things done. Quick PvP win. Have it look smooth. Um, now, you can also play all this stuff in 120 FPS, um, but you have to make sure the game actually is going to run in 120 FPS. So what you would do is you would head into performance. And you'll notice right down here, um, what you want to go down to is the sixth thing down, which is enable high frame rate and click that on. And what you can do is you can set it to 240. Um, but for the most part, it doesn't go that high for uh, most games. You can go to 120. Like Decay can go to um, 120 on this. Uh, this card changes. And games like that. Some games can't go beyond 60. If you set it beyond 60, it'll crash. Just keep that in mind. So in order to actually set up the Android 11. Now you'll notice that my uh, multi instance manager is basically um, saying right now, no Android 11, everything else like that. Emulator trick. Uh, for the most part, eventually, um, wear and tear of using emulators, no matter what emulator it is, what you should do in the beginning is make your first emulator, which you see I have right there, which is called Base DNT. What that basically is, is do not touch. That's what. I'm saying to myself at this point uh, for the case of this video I made that on um, the Android 11 stuff and you know in general but what I'm actually relaying to myself and to you guys is is you make the first emulator you log into everything that you need to do because every time you make a new emulation you need to actually um, log into Google Play, um, whatever else you're using, using Tap Tap, you gotta log in and that, you're using Q out, you gotta log in and that, you're using QQ, Billy Billy, all that type of stuff, you have to log into with every single emulation. What you can do to make that easier on yourself is you can make that one base do not touch right there. It works extremely well for blue stacks, which is why we're talking about this right now, and never touch it. So if something happens to world reviews or emulants and dislike and you know, so you see Bleach 3D, um, that's Street Fighter Duel and Nier. That's this is literally what the stuff that I use it for. World reviews is basically me reviewing everything. So that particular instance is what I put all of the reviewing on when I do reviews and everything else. So that's the one that I usually end up deleting the most because it gets too large or it starts to corrupt because it's getting too large. And I just delete that one out and then I recopy again base DNT and then make a new one. Now, in order to make a Android 11 beta version, what you would do and because it's not going to start that way, you have to make you have to make it. You go to instance and you go to fresh instance and then you go all the way down to right here and then you would just hit Android beta <clears throat> and then head over here now you get the choice of do you want four cores you should probably just leave it at base for right now unless you want more dpi then you can change the dpi you can put that low memory and then set it to high memory later um but for the most part that's how you make the android 11 instance when you first start and unlock and everything else like that so that makes the um thing and the reason why you want that is because it's the first framework that a lot of the newer games are using where some games just don't work now or anything else besides android 11 the games are literally made for that so um you need emulation that's going to work on that and um boostax is the first one to do it which is pretty cool okay so another thing uh we got a few more things that we're gonna um go on they do have this also this for um content creators you have this little ad thing over here what you need to do is you just need to cut that out it actually really doesn't do anything you can just like cut it out of the uh the emulation and everything else there's the new boa right there the person running around they probably getting treasure chest because the treasure chest um event is going on right now you get free stuff see um you have this little thing over here and you see i freed up this memory right here why are you next to me you know who i am you're gonna talk you're gonna say something or you're just gonna let me see chat and they're not saying nothing they just know who i am and just gonna do that um so you have to trim 
right here and you see what basically happens when you hit trim and i, I always religiously show this to you guys um what that does is actually free up fps and um it frees up your computer because some games leak and i didn't mean to do that <laughs> uh some games leak and as you can see that's how much but i don't know which game is actually doing this um one of these two games is memory leaking now they'll, they'll get to a point where it'll just cap and it'll just keep refreshing but that actually cuts the performance of your computer if you didn't know so um if you're recording and anything else like that um if you keep yourself in the mindset to religiously kind of like hang on this i know that's tedious it sucks to even think about actually doing that but that actually keeps um your frames at 60 because probably both of them is memory leaking um when you notice that And, um, and whatever game that you're doing that you're starting to lose frames over the course of time or the game starts lagging or your computer starts lagging, what you can do, especially if you have multiple instances running, is, is you can just kind of like sit on the trim and lower it. It'll put less of an impact on your computer. Now, what I did bring up is CPU Z, which shows like what computer I'm actually doing, like what, what my computer is. Like, you see, my computer is like five years old now. So this is what I'm rocking with right now. A lot of people ask this so i figured i would just show this in the video while i'm doing this and you can see um you know i don't have a, a new age computer my card is not even new um that's probably gonna change this year uh, but this is what i'm doing right now this is what i have and everything and i just wanted to actually show that so you guys could see um, what's possible and what's not possible and how, how you can do the same thing and um, you can see my uh, my core speed running right now what 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 is taxing what is not taxing and I my graphics card is overclocked I believe and I believe I can show you that as well this is what my graphics card is on right now uh, so you guys know um, you know we got we got a nice temperature going on right now um my gpu at temperature is actually kind of hot i need to cut my fan up right now it's probably because the heat is on in my house so i gotta lower the gp i gotta lower that gpu temp um by it needs to be under 75 and right now it's at 83 and it's right it's probably at 83 right now because i'm doing all of this but anyway with that said uh this like i said this is sponsored by uh, blue stacks and i just want to show all the good stuff um it's, it's a good step forward uh it's definitely a good step forward all right and i did notice that like games like this remember we used to use other emulation for arpg type of titles uh but they came actually a long way with this so now i can rock out <laughs> i can rock out i'm probably best to help out because i've read a critical uh news ad just a thing in this game. What, what do you want me to do? It actually didn't show it this time. But anyway. That's all I got for you guys on this one. I hope you um enjoyed and definitely try it out. Um try the Android 11. You know, you're gonna notice the difference right away. And playing games on the Android 11 on Bluestacks, like it's like a complete difference night and day. Uh, and some stuff just runs just way better. So I give props on that. And it's just gonna get better from here. <clears throat> and like I said, with the ARPG games, like the action 60 FPS and 120 FPS, Bluestacks was okay at that, but now it's like PC level with it finally, which is definitely cool. So try that out. Try things like Aether Gazer, um, Punishing Grey Raven, and uh, what be our Tower Fantasy, Genshin. Oh, actually, I don't think Genshin actually works on that so scratch Genshin uh honkai <laughs> so i'll catch you guys next video peace and you no know, try it out thank you legends for getting to the end of the video we do three to four videos every day don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be first in notification squad i love everybody who stops by and i will see you next video peace